Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another Tearville, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> Tearville Server Saturday. And, um, we've not really done all that much apart from all you can see here. Uh, this is the newest time we've made. Um, it's called Ethsis, I believe. There's a sign here. Hadramon named that. I didn't get any say in that. Dickhead. <laughs> but, um, this is obviously, as you can see, it's desert themed city. It's somewhat based on like Arabian stuff, Arabian, Egyptian, and Persian, just a mix of all those things. So you can see the very like Aladdin esque roofs on those towers. And yeah, it's just, I, I really enjoy this city. But um, yeah, as I said, inspired a lot from like Arabian stuff, Egyptian stuff, and the other one, Persian stuff. Um, a lot of it, or at least a lot of the stuff I've made, I've inspired. Um, I've used Assassin's Creed as inspiration, the first one, which obviously isn't any of those three, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, very modular buildings. They're all um, just blah, blah, takes on this shape here. So again, it's the one, two, three, then the wall would go there, one, two, three. So it's just, it's the modular set of threes we always do for like, everything. But it's just worked on and like made to fit this style really. I mean a lot of the houses aren't done yet but we want it to feel very as I said Assassin's Creedy so everything's gonna be like parkourable. You're gonna be able to get from one side of the city to the other without touching the ground. Um, there's gonna be this big central dock coming up here which is gonna be a big trade route where they're gonna import and export all of their goods. We've not thought of like what sort of export they'll have yet but I'm sure there'll be something possibly like fancy jewellery or clothes or something like that, I don't know, maybe cloth, um, but yeah, uh, over the bridge, as you can see, it gets a bit bigger, like, this is the, maybe the richer part of town, although there's still some of the smaller houses, it's just, there's a lot, well, obviously the, the palace over there and the mosque, which isn't yet done, and there's just some bigger houses along the, uh, pier, and just generally bigger stuff, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I can say, really. Uh, we had the idea of doing these rooftop garden things, which is sort of inspired by Jamsy Boy's desert build. Quite a lot of these things are, actually. So, again, big credit to him for being inspiration for a lot of the builds in this. Uh, over here, however, this is something fun. Something new. This is the old city. Or will be the old city. Now, we had a bit of an idea about this. There's going to be, like, the suburbs around here, which is... Oh, I'll come to that later, actually. The old city, a plague started, or some disease started to spread. So, the people in the outskirts, which were healthy, built a wall around it. And basically just blocked them off. That was, like, the central tower of the old city. So that was, like, the big focal point. Which is now, like, the viewing station, basically, for the old city. I had a bit of an idea. I don't know if Hadramal agreed with this one, but, um... I thought perhaps make it, like, a plague that turned them feral. Basically, like, zombies, but... Not zombies. But, I mean, that's maybe a bit too cliche. I don't know. But, yeah, we're going to have, like, old demolished buildings. and Well, not demolished, but, like, derelict buildings. Everything's going to be destroyed and, like, well, old and ruined. And there's going to be a few ways of accessing this old city. There's going to be a parkour bit in the wall somewhere. So, a broken wall that you can climb up. There's going to be a broken wall at ground level somewhere as well. And then sewer systems, which will run from somewhere over there into the old city. And as you can see it's got a very big like imposing gate, like big gatehouses, quite square. Like, this bit looks a bit dwarven, but I, we're gonna add a lot more detail to make it look a lot more like all the other stuff. They use the different types of sandstone and all that. And we've got this big portcullis metal gate, which as you can see that shape sort of looks like a butt plug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But um yeah, like this is this is one of my favourite cities, I think. I'm just putting that out there. We've, all of this work has been done within this week. Um most of it last night. Oh Friday night. Um Yeah, very it's gonna be very big and sprawling and gonna spread out like a huge amount. Um lots of we're gonna have lots of colour or a lot more colour, as you can see there's only the few red and white to break it up a bit. That is, uh, red's going to be the city colour, 
if that makes sense. But as you can see over here, we've used the red banners from the paintings. Whereas in Carthier, we've used the blue ones, I think, since blue is going to be Carthier's colour. But I had a little bit of an idea behind the lore for this as well. Since it's so huge, unlike most of the other towns, this is going to be like rivaling Carthier as the capital of Tyrvale. I mean, the capital is Carthier at the moment, but perhaps there's going to be like political like battles going on between them. Political battles, yeah, why not? Going on between them to like be the capital. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I can tell you of it at the moment. There, as I said, Assassin's Creed inspired, so there's going to be a lot more tall buildings, and we are actually going to put some hay bales about just as a bit of a reference. Um, this dock is going to be improved on because I mean it doesn't look too great at the moment, but that's mainly because we couldn't think of what to make it look like. Now, I'll show you around some of these buildings, actually, just to show you the variation I've done. Uh, most of the buildings over this side of the street I've made, these were the ones that I started on, so they've got a lot of detail. Uh, over here, I'll start here. This is like a, more of like a rural house. It's got the well outside and uh, the roof garden. Now, this is going to be like food. Perhaps it's a different type of wheat that they used to grind down to make something. I don't know. But uh, this house isn't decorated, as you can tell. There are some of them that I have, in fact, decorated interior. But it's got a little, as you see, little outside pantry bit. And I like these, like, ground-tight windows. There aren't any over here, but um, they feel really deserty. Like, you want, like, it, it gets in the cooler air. I mean, the heat, there's a lot of it, obviously, because it's a fucking desert. I really can't speak today for some reason. But, um, yeah, like, the lower windows let in more air. I don't know. Here is a house that I have decorated. Oh, I'll show you the outside first. Again, this sort of like cover thing for the food and the baskets, barrel of fish, and all that stuff. Uh, this has a two-tiered garden, so there's that bit there, and then there's the roof garden. I decided to do that just because I thought it looked quite cool, and that leads on to the like the roof of another building. But yeah, I'll show you the interior of this. Where's the door? There we go. So as you can see, the floors are very low down, which again makes it feel like a lot cooler in the desert atmosphere. And as you can see, they've got their plates and their like all their necessities. A chessboard, just if they get bored, they can play the board. The board and a little bit of storage in here. And then there's the bedroom. Now, I really like the idea of the sunken beds. I think that feels a lot better. It's more like sleeping mats instead of actual beds. I, I don't know, I just think that looks quite cool. So you can see what we're going for with these interiors. Like very simplistic, very like cool feeling in the warm heat of the desert. Here's another one. This has got like a pretty brewing stand in there because it looks a bit like a hookah. Which you'd get in um, well, like that sort of like Egyptian-y stuff. I don't know, I think it looks quite cool. I, actually, it really does look like because those look like pipes and all that. Anyway... <laughs> Enough of that. Um, I'll show you a few more interiors just so you, you get the idea if you haven't already. Uh, this Is this the way into this house? This, no, this has a door. Oh, I broke something. <laughs> there we go. Um, that is, uh, by the way, this is the MetaCycler plugin or the Data Cycler, whatever it's called. Um, because of this texture pack, it has all the meta textures. See, like, uh, these, for example, the stills, they're just wooden slabs, um, and the plates and all that are just um, uh, blah, 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 pressure plates. So this plugin and this texture pack are obviously necessary for the server. I don't know what the fuck happened here. I think Hadramon made this house. Yep, you can tell which ones he's made. <laughs> no. Um, so as, as I told you, these are like the more like imposing, the bigger houses. Again, not decorated interior yet. These are heavily inspired from Assassin's Creed. I literally just looked at a screenshot and like copied the houses. As you can see here. So um these are a bit higher up, bit bit um bit more like important feeling I guess. Still no interior as I said, but you know, you you know what I'm saying. And uh here's the mosque. As I've, I've slightly showed you, this isn't finished yet. I'm still to add this sort of bulb-shaped roof, the very stereotypical thing. 
I'm not sure how exactly that's going to pan out on such a big building, but hopefully it works well, because otherwise it looks more Roman, if anything. And we do have another like Roman feeling thing, just the long straight roads. But yeah, I'll show you the palace, and then I should end this episode off, since I've sort of been rambling. And Jack's on the server. <laughs> So this is the courtyard. We're gonna have loads of like stalls and like this is gonna be more of like a like not a royal thing. Like the courtyard won't be too royal. It'll just be like a I don't know, like a recreational area maybe with stalls, benches, just a busy hum like humbling, bumbling area. And we've obviously not done anything in here yet. Although I had the idea of making it like look like the interior of Dragon's Reach, obviously in a more Arabian deserty feel. But like with the same sort of feeling, like you come in and then there's just a little hall bit, and you go up some stairs, there's the grand dining area, and you go up a few more stairs, and there's the throne just at the back. And there's obviously access to all the towers, which will have some use, probably. We'll have, like, rooms in there or something, I don't know. But that is... Oh, sorry, I just burped there. That is basically it for this city, and for all we've really done this week. I mean, Hadramal has been away... And I've not really been on the server much apart from last night, which we're building for like four hours straight. Hadramo was also live streaming it on the Tearvale um, Twitch channel, which I will put in the description. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, stick around for more Tearvale updates.